Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is going to be a next six months love reading and general. Some messages may not be for you. They might be for you. Um, just take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgos, let's get into this. Also, I am running a discount for July on my personal reading, so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, go to the websites in the description box below and book your special discounted July reading. Okay, we're going to start with July. So you're starting with the star in the reverse. Okay, um... I feel like July is not going to be a time for renewal. Um, this is a time for rebuilding your faith. I feel like July, you're going to be very disconnected, um, really trying to learn to trust yourself. You might be feeling a little bit insecure in July about, you know, can you do something? Is this going to be something you can do on your own? Not exactly sure what that means, but let me just take a look here. It's mostly about um, regaining your hope and your strength and learning to trust yourself again, okay? And it might be something to do also with the King of Cups in July, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this person is feeling a bit hopeless or discouraged, okay, in July. Um, this person is losing hope. They have lack of faith. Um, they're feeling discouraged, insecure. They feel a disconnect with you. Um, let's see. And they're really not sure about some kind of renewal, okay? And you might not be either. Now, let me see. One more card to give you for July. Okay. Ace of Wands. Um, yeah, I feel like there's somebody in July who's... It feels like this King of Cups is trying to get this, this urge back back for life, right? This person's depressed. I feel like this person's a bit depressed and they're seeking new opportunities for growth, okay? Um, trying to get themselves out of being um, like in despair. Some This person feels very much like they are in despair at this time and they definitely want a new beginning here. Um, trying to get their desires back or you know what I mean it's kind of crazy let me see one more for July okay yeah oh gosh so I feel like there's a breakup somebody this King Cups or you or both of you just feel like something's done here there's no um going back um I feel like that you and this person are going your separate ways and you're going to seek out new opportunities for growth partnership things like that there's not even a friendship happening here in July. This just feels like there's broken communication, tension, imbalance, and I do feel like this King of Cups is feeling this way at this time. And, um, you know, there's, is there an opportunity for growth between the two? Yeah, but there's no communication happening here with you and this person. So I really feel like either you're not talking to them or they're not talking to you. And, um, July looks a little bit bleak. Like there's just, there's a, like a very teeny, there's there's a potential here to overcome this depression, this despair. Um, and, you know, Virgo, you might be in this situation where you're just like, you know, I, you can have growth with somebody else. You could just, you're ending something or something's ending here with this King of Cups or they're ending it. And it feels like, I, I can't really say that there's a potential for you and this person to work things out in July. I don't really feel like that. Um, but I do feel like I will say that the King of Cups does want that, but I don't see any action being taken. And I feel like you might want that, but I don't see any action being taken. So July is kind of like a dud. It feels like a little bit of a dud. You know what I mean? Um, there's so much potential for something to be healed, but nobody's doing anything in July, okay? No, nothing's happening in July, okay? You might be deciding for yourself just to seek out, and this person also, um, uh, seek elsewhere, okay? Now let me take a look and see what August brings, and happy birthday to the August Virgos. 
Okay, so you've got the five of, of pentacles. So let's see. All right. You know, it's crazy because I feel like there's some clarity coming to you in August um, about your finances. Like August is going to be a real wake-up call about your finances. You're spending too much money, Virgo. Um, and and you're, you might be spending it on little things. And I feel like August um, is you kind of like, oh my God, I got to look, I got to take a look at my, I'm, sp you know, like, I don't know. I, I feel like you're chipping away at your finances. I don't feel like you're spending, or at least in August, spending on big ticket items. I feel like your, your savings are being chipped away by tiny little expenditures here and there which all add up to a big ticket big ticket items okay um some of you might be thinking of getting another job uh, maybe a second or a third job or changing your career and trying to find something that is going to pay better yeah there's a little bit of a financial struggle in in, in august but there's also a waking up to where you are okay in regards to that um I do feel like things are going to work out. I feel like your message here is either you need to crunch down on your finances, like stop spending on little things and forego things, um, or seek out secondary employment or another way, hustle, another way to get more money. Because um, I feel like that is going to bring you a sense of like, okay, uh, I'm going to be okay. You know what I mean? But you have to do something. So it's either seek out more you know, money to afford to live the way you're currently living, um, or really crunch back and sacrifice a little bit here. Okay. Cause I do feel like you're, you're you know, you're going to take a look at like, take a look at your overall financial picture for the rest of the year and be like, Oh no, I can't, this can't happen. I can't do this. Okay. Um, some of you might be spending money on just things that, help you to rest or relax or maybe like vacations or something. I don't know Virgo I feel like you need to keep an eye on your finances here yeah um, and get very protective about them in August okay just keep an eye on that August is going to be huge like oh my gosh you can't you, you go to pay for something and it's like you don't have the money it's not there so it's a decision okay so here you go september what do i do it looks like this is turning into <laughs> one long form story um things are going to pay off okay you're going to be all right september you're going to be able to look and say you know what i think i can get by i think i have enough i might need to just try to get a little bit of extra money um but your hard work will pay off and even if that means getting more money or just scaling back how much you're spending, it works out the same um, to keep your numbers level. Uh, I feel like you're going to be okay with that. Definitely. Okay. Now, some of you might be changing jobs as well. You, I do see there's definitely... Um, uh, oh, okay. They just said somebody's going to cash in some bonds or some stocks as well to get a little bit of extra money. This is kind of like figuring out what to do with the money. There's something, if you keep your money in a bank or you have investments in certain institutions or things like that, or, um, you know, leaving, if it's about leaving a job and taking on another job, um, I, I do see you really like, okay, looking at this. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're going to be okay. You've got the four of wands. So, um, some of you might be relocating back home as well. Okay. Very important. Some of you might need to move home or you make, might make a decision if you have a home to move to, um, or move into a retirement community as well. If you're older, um, or relocate in a retirement community, if you already live there, um, some of you might seek help from like financial help from some kind of, um, traditional institutions or religious groups or something along those lines as well, as well or seek some kind of help. I'm just picking up a real strong community uh, situation here. Okay. 
and um, yeah this is September there's there's some creative opportunities coming to you as well that you will receive some kind of an offer on which you're not gonna have to fork out a lot of money to create something here and you're actually going to Oh, yeah, you got big plans here. So some of you in September might be deciding as well to start some kind of creative endeavor that's going to um, add some coins to your piggy bank, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, maybe you'll do some shows or something in September um, where there's like community events or something. I feel like, Virgo, I just kind of, the overall message is you're going to find a way. That's what I feel. Um, you're going to find a way to make some money or to do something extra. There may be some family that help you or a community support group that kind of help you, give you some ideas. People want to buy your stuff, I'm hearing. September seems to be like, um, they're just giving me like this boat, like somebody sends you a boat, hop in so you can sail off into this great new thing that you're going to do, these plans. Um, and maybe you'll seek a loan. Or, um, you know, banks or, or someone that can like actually like a corporate or someone, there'll be some money coming to you so that you can start something new here. September feels like making plans to increase your income for, especially going into the holidays. Okay. Let's see what October is holding for you here, Virgo. What does October hold? Okay, there's a King of Wands who's coming out of the closet <laughs> in October. Um, all right, interesting enough. So I don't know if you guys have noticed this. A lot of these decks do this. And so it's up for opinion, but this King of Wands... And I know why they do this. So generally, the King of Wands is showing up as being uh, a, a Sagittarius. It could be a Leo or an Aries, but it could also be a Scorpio because it's a Mars-ruled card. So there is a King of Wands who is showing up. And let me just tell you, when you had the King of Cups earlier, the King of Cups, I believe, was... Let's see if I can find it. Because it's really odd how they come out like that. I believe the King of Wands or the King of Cups was Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it was also showing, I think, Aquarius. Okay. Well, I'll have to go back and look. I'm sure that uh, if you stop the video and kind of zoom on it, you can see it because I can't find the card. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, there's a King of Wands showing up here. Um, I just feel like it's coming out of the closet. <laughs> I just keep hearing that. So either they're actually coming out of the closet um, or they are becoming free. Let me see. What's going on here? Oh, okay. Lustful energy. This is all about sex. Um, what does this have to do with Virgo? Oh, okay. Okay, so this person's connected to you in some way, okay? Um, I feel like they want to tell you, they've missed the opportunity before in the past, to tell you that um, they've been hiding a secret. They've been hiding something. It could be a sexual secret, okay? Okay. Yeah, and they've been pulling some tricks, kids. This, yeah, um, okay, Virgo. <laughs> You're going to find out something about this King of Wands in October. Um, that they've been tricking you or tricking other people about their sexuality. You're going to find out. <laughs> and, or they're going to tell you that they've been pretending to be one way when they're not, okay? That's an interesting message. Yeah, there's the Ace of Wands. So, like, I don't feel like you're, I don't know how you're gonna feel about it, but I just feel like this person is, I 
Okay, there's two messages now they're giving me. Number one, this person is going to tell you that they've been hiding their sexuality. Okay. Number two, separate message. This person feels like they have missed an opportunity to um, have some kind of new start with you or, or to grow something with you. Okay. Um, or to have like a potential new beginning. And I feel like this person, either they're going to tell you that or that this is the energy of this person. Like they really, I don't see regret and I don't see this person feeling like remorseful or anything like that. But I do feel like this person is coming to terms with, um, they missed an, a great opportunity. They come to realize something in October. They should have like sh shooted their shotted <laughs> they should have shot their shot when they had the chance to have to manifest something with you. Um, and then either they're going to communicate that. To, yeah, see. Mm. I don't know why I don't feel like this person's regretting. So for someone who's kind of coming out of the closet, there is going to be someone who's going to come to the family and tell everyone that either they're gay or they're straight or whatever's under the umbrella of that. Okay. Um, there's a, definitely a realization and that they've been kind of fooling everybody and they're just going to come out and like talk about that, not just to you, but also to family, okay, or other people. Um, and then for others, there it, this person who um, feels like they've missed an opportunity to have something amazing with you is going to try to manifest this with you in October in some way, okay? Yeah, they um, they don't want something to end here. They don't want some kind of chapter to be over. Um, they feel incomplete. And I kind of feel like they, they want to create that opportunity again to try to have some growth with you in October. Okay? So, hmm. If I were you guys, I would take like a um, pen and a paper hmm, or whatever, write it on your phone for each month. And these are the pivotal messages. I'm sure other things are going to happen to you in your life per month. But these are the strongest messages that I'm getting. And I would write them down and you can refer back to that. It's funny because last year um, I did a, a reading for myself predicting, um, you know, like one of these full, a full year reading. And the end of June or June, around the end of June, um, I predicted that, you know, mom was going in for surgery. And when I went back and looked at it the other day, um, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I was like, wow, a year later. So, you know, uh, some other things didn't happen. They were kind of delayed, but I would write it down, you guys, just so you kind of know ahead of time. Okay, let's take a look at November. What's going on for November for Virgos? Predictive messages, what's going to happen in Virgo's life in November. The most pivotal, significant messages. Okay. Wow, Virgo. You've got public recognition, victory, progress, self-confidence, success. Let's see. Oh, wow. Four of Cups reversed. Hmm. Sudden awareness, choosing happiness, acceptance, retreat, withdrawal, checking in for realignment. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be really successful in November. Well, let's take a look here. What's going on? Wow. Wow. So, somebody's having a party for you in November. There's some kind of celebration. Friendship, collaboration, creativity, community, happiness, joy, sudden awareness. Hmm, interesting. You're going to be celebrated for something in July. You're going to be accepting some kind of an award in July. I'm sorry, in uh, November. I don't know why I keep saying July, probably because it's still July. In November, yes. You're going to be recognized for something. Let me see. And there's going to be like a reception or a party. Um, let me see. The rest of the message. What's going on here? Ooh. There's definitely going to be an apology coming in here. 
you're going to feel it's funny because what, right when i was starting this in november I, I keep hearing i'm on top of the world like from titanic you know there's forgiveness there's recovery and even a, a, an apology might be coming to you from someone it could be a particular person or it could be family or some friends or maybe sisters or someone there's um accepting an apology or accepting um uh, someone wants to reunite with you in november have some kind of reunion um heal um a broken-hearted situation okay because somebody feels very discouraged or that there's a disconnect someone's in complete despair um and even if you are about a situation, um, there's going to be healing and recovery from that. Okay, Virgo, November's going to be like, you're going to be feeling really great. I feel like either you're going to get closure or you're going to get validated from some type of a situation that wasn't going well for you. Okay. You're going to be like way on, to on top of the horse. You have good positive vibes. Okay. So we've got Leo energy, Aquarius. So, I mean, this looks really positive, Virgo. November's going to be like, yay. <laughs> yay. There's um, even if there was a breakup, there's getting back together. Um, there's a re reunion, a renewal when there is a feeling of all hope is lost. It's getting the faith back. Definitely. So November looks really good for um, some kind of reconciliation or um, renewal of hope and faith and uh, some kind of reunion as well. Okay, let's take a look at December. What is December's energy? Oh, wow. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Wow, karma, life cycle, destiny, a turning point, change, inevitable fate. Some unpredictable situation, a little bit of ups and downs, but the wheel turning in your favor. Good luck coming to you, jackpot, in December. This is amazing. Let me see. Look at that saving money at Virgo look you're gonna be fine financially it's gonna be a little bit of like some worrisome moments as I was saying before you're gonna hit a big some of you are gonna hit a lottery of some sort um, or have a little a lot of money coming in um, and gonna hide that or hold on to that going into the new year for sure let me see here oh yeah you're gonna have to yeah I mean, you're going to come into some kind of small fortune of some sort. And, uh, <laughs> or if you've got like some kind of competition, like you're going to win. You're going to win against some kind of competition or rivalry, conflict, disagreement, strife, some kind of tension. Um, it's all going to be in your favor. Um, you're going to deflect all this energy, protect what's yours. You know, um, you're, it's a winner situation i don't even know i feel like it's mostly related to finances or people trying to um compete to to have some gains you're going to be the winner in this it's it like good luck comes to you in december let me say a little more information okay yeah the other party is the other party no good for whoever's on the other side of this okay they're going to feel like it's not fair that you're getting away with something, but it's not. They're done. An end comes to some financial thing. could be a court thing um, or some kind of uh, legal dispute of some sort. I feel like it's going to work out in your favor. Um, energy is going to come in pretty quickly. Um, very positive news. Good news coming to you in December, Virgo. I feel like you... You know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I just get a sense that you're going to be um, the winds of change. December is going to be the winds of change. Things are going to really shift. There's going to be an end to a conflict for sure. OK, 
okay? An end to dishonesty, an end to any kind of punishment or anything, whatever you've been protecting and holding on to, protecting your heart, whichever. There's definitely karma being served in some regards here. Um, and it, it's all good karma coming to you. Positive energy in December as well. Yep, there's secrets coming out. Um, revelation coming clean. Um, no more secrets. I feel like Virgo, you're going to be able to regain some kind of control of a situation. Okay. And like we saw in November, you're going to be on top of the world. And I do feel, I think that was November. And I do feel like you are, I don't know, whatever's coming to you, Virgo, by the end of the year. Yeah, it's going to be very positive for you. Okay. Whoever was creating conflict in your life um, or trying to limit you, you now you're breaking free. December looks really like to round off the end of the year, the last six months, like you, you definitely have some stuff going on, but I feel like December is going to be cause for celebration for sure. Things are going to shift in a very positive way for you. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Also, don't forget if you want to get a personal reading, there's a discounted um, uh, reading available on my website for July. Go over and check that out. You can book it for July. All right, you guys. Take care. Shut